In this video, we are going to do a deep dive into OpenAI Swarm. And the bottom line is that as AI advances, um, we need to have more complex systems because we have kind of like understood that one is not enough um, because there's a limit, like the attention mechanisms, um, they're not perfect. And therefore, we should kind of like focus the same way that uh, um, we're not really good at multitasking, if you know what I mean. Um, you may have people that say, hey, I'm very good, but, you know, realistically, they're not. And you cannot do two things at once, right? You may jump A to B, B to A, but you cannot do multitasking. And therefore, our AI agents um, can also not do multitask. Um, some of them, um, or our programming is kind of like able to do parallel processing. Um, but our AI agents uh, cannot yet. So it's one AI agent, one task. This is currently the ideal scenario. Now, this uh, swarm is still experimental. It's an educational framework. And the goal is to explore a very lightweight multi-agent uh, AIs. And it allows us to create, manage, and build these systems and so that they can interact with each other. Um, the way that it works is very similar to Crew AI, if anything, a bit simpler. So let's start by defining uh, the OpenAI Swarm. Uh, it's a framework that aims to simplify the creation and coordination of multiple AI systems using the Chat Completions API. So it's using the text generation. And it introduces powerful abstractions for agent orchestration. Um, and there's two things here. There's, there's handoffs and there's routines. And the primary goal is to provide a platform for people like you and me to build and play around with these uh, systems without the overhead of having to have a full-fledged production environment. Some of the key features include lightweight and scalable. It's very minimalistic. Um, this is why our programming is not that extensive for this section. It's highly customizable, uh, so you can really, you know, it really depends of how creative you are here, and um, it does have an educational focus. So the goal is not really to have this in production, at least as of now. It's more to show you how it works and for small things that you want to have. And I mean, not necessarily small, this is um, a bad word, uh, but the goal here is not to have a thousand calls to the API, but it's to build something uh, for yourself, for your day-to-day, -day, like we'll do, like building an assistant. Now let's have a look at the overview of the framework. So there's two main concepts. The first one is agents. So these are entities that encapsulate instructions and tools called functions. Um, the way that we have tools in Cray AI, we have functions uh, here with our agents. They can process messages, execute functions, and decide to hand off conversations to other agents. And then we have uh, handoffs. So these are mechanisms by which agents transfer control of a conversation to other agents. This allows for dynamic routing and coordination among agents. So this is what we'll do. So we'll have an agent um, that does the handoff. I call it the manager. And this framework actually is what enables us to build something that's scalable and complex, albeit it will still be quite easy uh, and simple in the way that it works. So I'm very excited. I think it's a very good development in the field. Now, let's look here at the agent uh, specifically. So it will have a name. It will have instructions. So these are guidelines that dictate the behavior, and they will have functions this is optional they don't need to have functions so we'll create one agent with a function another agent without it and then a model and you know using gpt 40 is currently the um, the right approach then we have uh, the handoffs um, it allow one agent to transfer the conversation to another agent this is useful uh, when an agent determines that another agent is better suited to handle the user's uh, request. So this is where you build a team of specialized agents. Then we have context variables. 
as well. Uh, and these are variables that can be shared among agents and functions. So these variables allow agents to maintain and share state across the conversation. So this is like the memory, uh, so to speak. Now, how does all of this uh, work? First thing is that we need to install. So we're going to use pip install, and it's this git plus the OpenAI uh, Swarm. And now let me walk you through um, our example. This is a way that I'm going to introduce everything. We're going to start first with a greeting agent. So here's the name and the instructions. You are a friendly assistant that greets the user and tells a joke. So this is the first one. Um, my inspiration here was really on the Google Assistant that you say good morning and then it proceeds. And um, But here I also want to play around with how uh, the OpenAI form works and this rerouting. So we're going to have a prompt and then the agent will decide what we actually want. And then we'll have the news agent. So they provide the top news headlines uh, of the day. Um, and for that, we need to have this function, which is the fetch news. Uh, that we need to create. And um, so this is something that we need to build for ourselves. And this is how uh, we do it. So let me go through step by step. We're going to be using this uh, news API org. And this we need to get an API for this that I'll show you how to do it. And the goal is that we are going to say, hey, I want news about something in a country. And what happens is that the prompt then needs to figure out what I want to then use this function. And for instance, if it's a category, and this category, for instance, could be, okay, I want news in finance. And the country, you know, for instance, the US. So I want, for instance, uh, the news about finance in Portugal or in Germany. Or I want to hear the latest about news in uh, Germany. You could also... Um, not just have a you know category. You may want to have like overall uh, perspective. So this is what we do. So we have the API key. We have the country here. So these are the params, and then we will have a specific category that we provide on the prompt if we want. Then we use this request to get. So we have the base URL here on top, and then we'll have specific params that we can add. And here we go. So then we have the news data that we retrieve with a JSON. And then this is basic error handling. So if we have the news, um, then we return. So here are the top news and headlines for blah, blah, blah. And then the category. And then join. And then we print everything. Otherwise, we say, OK, there was an error fetching uh, the news. Let's break it down once more. We have the functions. So fetch news accepts a country and category as uh, parameters. It makes a GET request to the news API to retrieve the top headlines, and then, for instance, returns the top five headlines as formatted as a string. And then, this is the key part. This is the orchestrating uh, the agents. So we need a main agent that decides which specialized agent should handle the user's request. And for instance, this one, this is a very simple thing. So we have Define transfer to agent, and then we have the agent. So these are the two that we'll build, the greeting agent, the news agent, and then we return. So agents get the name. This is as simple as it is. And therefore, this is where we then create the main agent. So it's going to use uh, this function, and then it's going to apply the name. And then we have here the creating the main agent. So we have the name, which is main agent, and the focus is really on the instructions. Um, it says you are the main assistant. Based on the user's request, you decide which specialized agent should handle it. If the user wants a greeting or a joke, transfer to the greeting agent. If the user wants the news, transfer to the news agent. Then, of course, we have the functions that transfer to agents. So this is what they do. The way that we instantiate the swarm client is by doing client uh, equals to swarm and it's directly connected to your open ai api key and then initializing the conversation this will be response client.run agent 
is the main agent, and then message could be you know role user content. Tell me the news in finance, and from the main agent here, it will just redirect and do what needs uh, to be done. So the conversation starts here. So this is my initial prompt. So tell me the news in finance. And then the main agent processes the request and would ideally handle the control to the news agent. And you can build more and more complex around this with more and more memory. Um, these would be the, the basics that we're going to cover in this uh, section. Now let's recap with some uh, key points. We have the function handoff. So the main agent uses the transfer to agent function to delegate tasks. We have dynamic function execution. So the news agent fetch news function that can handle different categories and countries based on the user input. And then we still have the context variables, which we're not fully exploring, um, but they can be added to maintain the state or pass additional uh, information. And uh, to conclude, I think this is a very powerful uh, framework uh, for exploring multi-agent orchestration. Um, I've shown you how to build multiple agents, and it's really by leveraging this um, that you're able to build very cool uh, programs. I'm looking forward to explore this with you, and I'll see you in the next video.